This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the deceivingly ordinary looking Master Lock Model 5 UP, or 5 UP as some people like to call it. The UP stands for Universal Pin, and it's an interesting line of padlocks from Master Lock, which come unkeyed from the factory. We actually have to key this up before we use it. However, unlike most other rekeyable locks where you can take it apart and remove the core, this has a laminated and riveted construction, which can't be taken apart non-destructively. So I'm going to show you how we can key this up without opening the lock on the mechanism that I took out of another one of these that I just tore apart. Here we have all the pins, and rather than having key pins and driver pins, what we have is a unified pin in each of the chambers. You can see little slots in it, and those slots go relatively deep. The process of keying this lock involves shearing this universal pin in half, creating a new key pin and driver pin. Here's how we do that. When it comes from the factory, the lock is positioned somewhat like this, where the core is sticking out from the front of the lock body. To key it up, we take a key, insert it in the front, and then we take a tool that goes over the top of the key. I actually made this one, but Master Lock also sells one. And we strike this with a hammer, pushing the core all the way in. That has the effect of shearing each of those pins in half but because we moved it back, it does something a little bit unusual. The key pin from slot one will pair up with the driver pin from slot two, the key pin from slot two will pair up with the driver pin from slot three, and so on and so forth. What that leaves us with is an extra driver pin in slot one and an extra key pin in the back. Let me show you what happens to those. As for the driver pin up front, it falls into this little channel that you can see. And that is the new method for retaining the core. Because of the way this mechanism works, we can't put a clip in the back, so we hold the core together with this little, with a pin that falls into that channel. As for the extra key pin in the back, what that does is fall into this little hole right here, where it remains for the remainder of the lock's useful life. So, what we're gonna do is take this key and this unkeyed Master Lock Model 5 UP. We'll take it down to the garage and key it up. The reason I'm gonna do it there is I'd like to put the lock in a vise. So when I hit it with the hammer, I get a nice solid strike. Once we have this keyed up, we'll bring it back upstairs and see what it takes to pick this open. I'm actually hoping that it's relatively difficult to pick because rather than standard pins, what we'll be left with are serrated key pins and driver pins, depending on where this breaks. So it should be a relatively hard master lock to pick open. So let's go down to the garage, key this up, and then we'll get to picking. Okay, we're down in the garage. I have the lock in the vise and the key in the unkeyed mechanism. So let's put my little makeshift tool over the top, and hopefully with one solid strike, we will have this keyed up. I don't think that did it. Let's hit it again. There we go. I felt that go down. Now let's see if this lock works. Hmm. That key does not want to come out, though it works well. Try something. Okay, maybe this will work in. Let me try working this a couple times and see if it eases up. Okay, we're back upstairs and it did take some work to get this lock operating. I had to take the key with a pair of pliers and insert and remove it probably 15, 20 times before I could easily do it with my hand. And even after all of that, I still can feel that the key is, is pretty sticky when I try to remove it. I'd imagine that's not uncommon for these locks. The keying process is very violent, and it probably leaves some burrs and bent edges on the inside that need to be worked out over time. 
If you do have experience with these locks, I'd appreciate it if you could put in the comments below whether you had similar problems. In any case, now that we have this keyed up, let's see if we can open this up without a key. Recall that those universal pins have ridges in them. So in effect, this lock is now keyed up with serrated key pins and driver pins. So it should be more of a challenge than a normal master lock. One is loose. So is two, three, Okay, four is binding very tightly. Got a click, still binding. Another click, still binding. Still binding after another one. Okay, that feels like it's set. Let's go back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two, little click on three. Four still feels set. One is binding, got to click there. Okay, two is binding, definitely now. Click out of two, and we got this open. Okay, that was definitely not a normal master lock pick. It felt like serrated pins, but not like an American lock pin or a pack lock pin. The feedback was not nearly as crisp and clean. For lack of a better term, it almost felt mushy on the inside, perhaps even like I was bending those pins, which doesn't seem unreasonable considering how thin they are at their very core. Because of that, I have some concerns about the long-term durability of these locks, though I've never used them before and have absolutely nothing to back that up other than a gut feeling. Again, if you do have experience with these locks, I'd appreciate it if you could chime in in the comments below and let me know how they worked out for you. In any case, that's all I have for you on this Master Lock Model 5 UP. If you have any questions about this or the universal pin mechanism, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.